Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of JBS Garage. Now, we finally have a new video editor. It's amazing, right? I haven't really managed to use it for one of these videos yet because this is the first one. Um, it's called VLLO or VLO or something like that. Um, it's for iOS and stuff, and I can actually now put music in, I can put fucking voiceovers in, I can put effects in, I can put vi actual proper effects, I can put stickers over the video, I can do a whole load of new things. So, the production quality should be shooting right up to 100 right now. Lovely jubbly. Let's get into today's video. Right, just to start off with, um, a few videos ago I was telling you that I uh, had some special plans for this and that's why I took the fuel tank and everything off. Which is all oh, correct, the fuel tank is in my bedroom upstairs. But um, the bike is just sitting right now because the stuff I bought for the fuel tank um, turned out to be shit. Got that cobweb stuck on my fucking hand. Um, basically what I did is I bought some vinyl wrap. I bought this purple chrome coloured wrap. It's amazing, yeah? But the problem is, it's cheap eBay wrap, yeah? And if I had spent two more pounds, I could have got genuine Avery Dennison wrap. But I didn't. And now, because I got the cheap chrome wrap, chrome wrap is the hardest wrap to wrap as well, bear in mind. And it's cheap, which makes it even harder. And what the problem was, is that um, I just couldn't form it around the tank at all. It wouldn't stretch, not even with heat, it just wouldn't stretch. And also, when you peel it back, you rip it up kind of thing to uh, carry on. It leaves all the adhesive on the tank and then you can't stick it back down again. And even when you do stick it down, you can see where the adhesive is. So it was like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do here? So the wrap I've just been using for everything else. Um, yeah, little Verno boy. Verno, Verno. <laughs> got all these uh, plants growing now. Lovely jubbly, got loads of them. And um, yeah, so the thing is what we're doing with this is you can see all the stuff's off the back wheel and everything at the moment. What I've got to do is I've got to buy an energy tube for it because the thing is I couldn't bead it or anything myself. Everything's shut because of Corona. Um, it's got a puncture that needed repairing. So I need to pay six pounds for a puncture repair kit. Yeah. Or I can pay six pounds for an inner tube, which does both jobs for me. And I can pump it up with a foot pump and bead it with a foot pump. So I'm buying the inner tube for the rear wheel. That is happening. Um, the front tire isn't getting changed for a while, as far as I'm aware. There's oh, liquid there, not sure if that's like dog piss or someone's leaking down there. It is, it's on the brake disc. And it's oily. Forks, don't know. Oh, yeah, forks. Right, we need fork seals. At least we know that now. Um, they're probably the same as a pulse adrenaline, to be fair, so it shouldn't be that hard. Um, if not, I'll just have to find the ones that are fit. Um, and yeah, this thing just really isn't doing much at the moment. Like I said, I bought it for Lauren, not myself, but it just needs money put into it. Money that I currently don't have, money that currently Lauren doesn't have either, so it's just sitting for a bit. Money that Verno doesn't have either. So yeah. And um, what I'm doing out here is I've been trying to make some videos on this. I've been trying to make like a top end tear down and stuff, yeah. Um, but the problem is I haven't been able to get the sliders out of the head. Um, like the pins that the fucking hold the rockers on. That's a bit of a bitch. You can see I've uh, made my own little spring compressor there. Nah, I've got one I'm on the way from eBay to put that back in properly. I can compress that with my thumbs. Just that slide amount that I can't do it, you know? I just can't press the collets in place at the same time. Pretty annoying, but it's all right. Everything's going well so far with this. I've had an idea on how I can actually bodge this up. Because if you see here on the fuel pump, you can see that little unit there is removable. And of course, that's a bit of pipe. Now, if I just cut, get rid of this bit of pipe and get a new piece, I can get some proper pressure rated pipe, put it from there down, get rid of this unit, and get a fucking 90 degree um, brass fitting that just goes, like, it would just go into that pipe and come out as a fucking 90 degree here, yeah? And then I could just fill round there with epoxy, I reckon, and just have it permanently there. So I just have to reconnect the pipes either side. And then for the actual injection pipe, which is here, I'm not sure which end is the uh, injector end, which one's the fuel tank end right now. But, um, ah, no, it goes that way. That's the tank up the top. So basically what I would do is I'd cut that off or whatever, and then I'd slide it onto the uh, fitting. Um, I reckon that would work, I don't reckon I'd lose, have any problems with that, so it's probably what I'm going to be doing. Also, it definitely needs a new fuel filter because that, when I got it, because it still had fuel in the tank, was brown because it was still wet, I could still see the condition of it. 
Not good. Um, and the exhaust, that thing's getting put in the bin really. Can't even use that for a turbo down pipe because it's just shit. Um, and for the cylinder head bolt, I have to buy a top and die set. I can fix all that there. The wheel will be get done, but that is also this month. But a few days time, next week, innit Vernon and me? Now there's one more thing I want to talk to you guys about quickly. And that is actually today's video's sponsor. Lauren's Resin. Now the sponsor is my girlfriend, but I don't give a fuck because it's amazing anyway. It's like, why would I not sponsor her even if she wasn't my girlfriend? This stuff is amazing. I've got to show you guys. So this is just one style. So before I say anything more about it, bear in mind, everything is done custom and personalized to order. This is all for me, okay? So this is what I've got. This is a nice little keyring collection. Now, she also makes ashtrays and other stuff like that. And uh, this is really, really, really cool. Like, these are so cool. But let's look at this little teddy here. You can see it's like layered and you can see through it the different layers of stuff. And it just looks amazing. And then you get like these Scrabble ones. These are only about £1.50 on the online shop, which there is a link to in the description. And oh my God, I have to highly recommend these. But look at that, the layered gold flakes in there make it look amazing. And just look at that personalized key tag there for me. That is beautiful. That is what I like to call beauty in a key ring. And now this isn't a sponsor, but this is an honorable mention. I know I'm just chatting, I know I'm just boring you right now, but whew, Zero Customs, the YouTube channel, you need to go and subscribe to it right now. It is Sam, it is the Sam from JBS, yeah? And he is making his own channel. He's always making bike videos now, uploading nearly every day, every few days, and he is doing amazing. He's just doing a custom bubble build at the moment for this Hanyao HN 125 8, shall we specify? And uh, yeah, it's looking amazing. I'll uh, put a few clips on here of it. And so in this clip here, all Sam's doing is he's just taking his fuel tank off now because he's just resprayed all the bike and he's just going through checking everything's all good, you know? Um, he's been making a custom seat for it, custom back end, the custom everything. And honestly, it looks amazing. Go and check it out, guys. Yeah, just an amazing bike in general. And also an amazing person. So we spoke about on a, one of our videos before the YBR engine, and I spoke to you guys about the Instagram poll I had. Um, well, so we are actually making the two valve. I just don't have a pen to change that right now. Um, I also found my ratchet from about two years ago. And yeah, so this is getting a silly head like this, but what I was thinking the other day, I was just planning on rebuilding this head and all that. But then someone gave me the thought, if I'm spending 200 pound on a ball kit to make it perfect, why am I not buying a 70 pound brand new head to make it perfect too? Why make used old parts with brand new parts? Doesn't that seem a bit counterintuitive? And I was like, you know what? You're completely right. So in the engine as well, I'm probably going to get a stroker crank or a bigger crank or just something, just a brand new crank or new crank bearings. Um, I know I can get a new right hand side crank bearing and replace that fairly easy. Left hand comes on the crank, but yeah, I'm probably going to buy a brand new crank, do the whole lot in one go. What are you running for my baby? Little update on this thing as well. Um, I've been riding it around daily in it every day. Rod's absolutely fine now. Um, the brand new chain is sick. But the problem is the derailleur is still bodged, so the chain still jumps on any gear apart from first on this side. This side here, I can use the full range, one, two, and three, but it only really likes three. Look, not, it doesn't like the other two. It's just not the right gear and ratios, you know? Has to be in the big one for the best performance. See, all in all, it's quite comfy though. Got that little tear. Comfy. It's comfy. And uh, nothing much is going on in here at the moment. Um, yeah, just storage. Someone buy these NRG parts off me for fuck's sake. I don't want them. So I'm now in Hamble. Whew, just had a nice long ride here. My bill pulling up. Sexy thing, cause uh, you know, social distancing has to make our own way places now. In it. Uh, just sat down. Lauren just bought some munch like a fucking G. Got the old diet coke, got the old hand sanitizer. Corona. Yeah, boy. 
Now this is just some sick electric bike I see outside of shop in Netley. It is amazing. And, uh, yeah, just riding my bike now. Lovely. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day for this one really now, just because it's quite hot. Um, I'm outside. It's warm. I just don't want to film anymore today. I've already got a good solid 10 minutes of footage, so you guys are pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. Let me go know what you guys want to see next. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, because come on, you need to help me build this channel. Please. Go on. I'm begging you. Begging you like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.